Hey, what's up everybody? Kyle Buckland here with The Artful Souls. Hope you all are doing great today. I wanted to do a, a quick video uh, just explaining about my brush washing process. I know a lot of you all have asked uh, questions about the nuts and bolts of uh, painting. And one thing that you'll find if you paint a lot, which I hope you are, is that you'll end up with a lot of dirty paint brushes. Um, so you want a good, quick, and effective way to clean your brushes and also a way of cleaning them that doesn't uh, wear them out too quickly and also leaves them conditioned uh, in a nice conditioner. So I've got two different liquids here on, on you can see in, in brush washers. And these metal brush washers, I'll show you here, they just have a little insert. You can see in this one, the little insert um, that has these little holes punched in them. And that allows the pigment to fall down below the, the liquid. Um, so these are great products. They come in different sizes. I got a big one and a smaller one here. In this first one, I have Gamsol paint thinner. So this is just straight up paint thinner. Um, in this second one, I have Terpenoid Natural. Um, so Gamsol paint thinner and Terpenoid Natural. Uh, I'll put those uh, terms in the description below so you can go and read those if you want to see exactly um, what those products are. Um, and I've got a nice dirty uh, paintbrush here with lots of cadmium red, a very strong color. Uh, and then I've got a paper towel. So this is what you need to, to clean your brushes. The, uh, the first step is going to be to get as much of this paint out of the brush as possible. So we're going to wipe this just on a clean paper towel first and get all of the pigment out of the brush as much as possible. Then what you want to do is you want to take it and you want to swish it back and forth in your paint thinner. Uh, till you get um, the majority of the, the rest of the pigment out of the brush. Now, a strong color like cadmium red will sometimes dye the bristles, especially with these white bristles. So you might end up with a slightly pink um, sh shade to the bristle. That's okay. You know, you can, you'll never ever get that out. It's just a stain. So don't worry about that. As long as the, um, the majority of the pigment is coming out of the brush, that's what you want. So um, you want to get this uh, to where it wipes fairly clean on this on this paper towel. So you can see now um, we're not getting a lot of pigment left on the paper towel, just sort of this gray uh, color. So that's all right there. Um, and try to get it off of the, the metal part of the brush if you can. Uh, you don't want it build up too much. If a little bit gets on there, it's okay. But you, you want to try to get mostly the paint off of here. Um, after a while, I get this sort of a patina of color on my handles, and, and that's fine. That never bothers me. But I try to get most of the pigment off of this part of the brush. So once we've got it good and clean like that, we want to take a new paper towel and we'll go into our uh, brush washer here with the Terpenoid Natural. Now this is like a conditioner. Um, so if you just use the paint thinner, it's going to dry your bristles out and you'll find that after a while they start to break. Um, but what this Terpenoid Natural does is it gets any remaining pigment out, um, but mostly what it does is it conditions the brush and keeps the bristle, bristles nice and soft. Uh, so after we, after we wash it in that, we're going to wipe it one final time um, just to get the excess uh, terpenoid natural out. But you want to leave a little bit of it on there because, like I said, this is not supposed to dry out completely. This will keep your brush a little oily, um, you know, so, so you don't have to worry about getting all of the terpenoid natural out. Now your brush is ready to go. It's good and conditioned. If... Uh, you, if you're going to be uh, not using it for a little while, it won't dry out. Uh, it'll stay nice and moist and conditioned, and you're ready to go next time you go to paint. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out my Patreon page. I've got lots of other videos and uh, cool tips and tricks and stuff on there. Uh, if you want, it's just a dollar a month. You can sign up. The, the link is in the description below. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody watching. I uh, hope you're out there pushing the paint around and having a good time. And uh, I'll see you soon in the next video.